Girl Scouts, uh, Luisa Garcia here. I'm the Entrepreneurial Program Manager with the Girl Scouts of New Mexico Trails. And today we are going to talk about the Cadet Budgeting Badge. We're going to go over step four, which is exploring different ways to give. Um, the five steps for this badge are step one, practice budgeting for what you value. Step two, learn to track your spending. Uh, the step three, find out ways to save money. And then our step four, which we have explored different ways to give. And then step five, which is create a budget that focuses on what you value. Um, so what I'm going to do today is first, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to share my screen. And we're going to, this is the first time I'm trying this on our Facebook Live. So hopefully it'll all work out for us. And I'm going to make it full screen. Awesome. So here's um, what we're working on. As I said before, the cadet budgeting badge of step four, explore different ways to give back. So the first thing you wanna do when you're completing this step is you want to identify issues that are important to you. Um, I have a list of examples here, but the list is really endless. I have education, homelessness, um, food deficient, people who don't have access to food on a daily basis, um, foster care, the environment, military families, um, senior care, recycling, mental health, and poverty. Um, obviously, there are a ton of different issues that could be important to you um, that might not be on this list. But your first step is to identify what is important to you. Um, so if it happens to be senior care, then you can put that down and then you can brainstorm ways um, that you can find to give back. And one thing that I want you to remember is that giving back doesn't have to look like giving money. Um, giving back could be giving time, it could be giving resources, um, finding ways to fundraise um, so that you can donate things. It doesn't have to just look like giving money. There are different ways for you to be able to give back. So you might say, what can I do? And I have this quote here, which is my favorite, um, one of my favorite quotes from J.R.R. Tolkien, who was the writer of Lord of the Rings. And the quote is, even the smallest person can change the course of the future. Um, and I love this quote because it, it says exactly what what we mean for this part. It doesn't matter if you're a daisy or a senior ambassador, um, you can make a difference. And so here are a few different ways that you can give back. Um, I have one on here, this organize a food drive. And the ones that I put on here are things that you can do right now during COVID-19 um, that don't force you to have to interact with people too often, to have to go anywhere. Um, if you organize a food drive, uh, you can just put up boxes at certain places. If you ask maybe at your school, even if you're not going there, people could stop by and donate um, canned foods or things that the food pantry in your area might need. Um, the next one we have here is that you can send care packages to armed forces. This is a great one. I've done this one before. Um, my kid's dad is a retired Marine, so we used to send packages in the mail to all the armed forces there. What you can do is you can also find out what's really important to them right now and what they need. And in these packages, you can put gum or magazines or food um, or things that they need to pass the time. And this is a great way to give back and to say thank you for serving um, their country. You could set up a lending library in your neighborhood. And this one's great. I, I had a girl who was doing her bronze silver project um, who was doing this on setting up a lending library in her neighborhood. And what I loved about her project idea was that she wanted to set it up in an area that didn't necessarily have one. Um, a lot of higher income areas will have lending libraries or access to regular public libraries. She wanted to set it up in an area that didn't so that kids who didn't have access to books could get free books and I love that. Um, the one thing about this one is that you might have to build one which could be a great lesson in learning how to build um, a lending library. There are websites that you can visit that you can buy a lending library that's already pre-built um, and put that up in your neighborhood. Um, another one that I have on here is pet education, like my hug your cats picture. Um, this one could be making pamphlets to hand out um, on how to get your pets spayed or neutered, or the best way to care for ticks, or maybe how to give back to the Humane Society, maybe resources that they need. You could hand out um, pamphlets to people in, when things are safe to do so. You can post them on social media when you have permission from your parents. Um, educating people is a great way to give back. It doesn't have to be, like I said before, where you hand something to someone. It could be the time that you put in, um, the resources that you use, and the skills that you have. Um, I have on here, you could create a butterfly garden, which is a great one. You can plant in your yard if you have one, or in your neighborhood if you have permission. Um, and this is great because it'll bring in butterflies. You can also do the same thing with bees. 
Um, right now, we, you know, we're very concerned about bees and we want to make sure that we can help keep them healthy and alive because their environment, they're important to our ecosystem. Um, so you can also set up um, a beehive. And then I have on here a healthy kids day. Now, this can be something you could do in the future um, when people interact a little bit more, but this could look like also making a pamphlet that has information on kids, um, how to eat healthy, what resources they can access, um, maybe for Girl Scouts, maybe for Girls Outside Girl Scouts, anything um, really works for that one. Um, and what I really love about that is that it gives back to um, kids and makes a difference for the future, which I really like. And then on the bottom here on this last slide, I have a way that you can give back that I know that all Girl Scouts are aware of. You can use some of your cookie funds to give back. When you get together with your troop and you plan your cookie goals, you can set aside a per certain percentage of your money that you raise to go to um, a certain project that you wanna do, that you wanna give back with, which is really great. And I have all these awesome Girl Scouts give back patches for when you do something like that. Um, and I'm gonna stop sharing my screen here and jump over here real quick. See, I don't see any comments on here. But if anybody does, they can email, email me at algarcia at nmgirlscouts.org or through our customer care, which is customer care at nmgirlscouts.org. And if you are interested in earning any other steps to this badge or any particular badge, you can also email us and we can set up a Facebook Live so we can go over that for you. Um, and once you're done viewing this Facebook Live, you have completed step four of your cadet budgeting badge. Have a great day. Thank you.